hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are going to see how to configure webhook in github for your CI/CD pipeline once we configured our webhook whenever we commit any code to our github repository our pipeline will trigger automatically that's what we are going to see in this video if you like the video subscribe my channel give thumbs up it will encourage my video to do more videos on more topics let's see so this is the pre request for our setup you should have github account with password and you should have running server with jenkins installed already if you don't know how to install jenkins check out my video in my description there is a video which is for installation of jenkins let's see how to configure this setup these are the steps we are going to do so we are going to create a job with the new pipeline and we are going to run sample code and then we are going to check out the code in the declarative format we will see also how to generate this code using the snippet generator we will do authentication as it is the private repository and finally we will do the webhook configuration in github as well as jenkins let's see how to do this configuration Currently, I am in the Jenkins console. Let's create a new job. Creating under pipeline. Run a sample code from pipeline script. This is the sample code. You can get it from here itself. Save. Run a job. It got success. Let's integrate with our pipeline with our GitHub. This is my GitHub repository. I have the link for my GitHub code. Copy this. Go to Jenkins. Configure. In this click pipeline syntax. There is an option called checkout from version control. We are going to use git repository URL. Here you have to provide the authentication. So for that we are going to create some authentication. So add Jenkins username with password. So I am going to enter my GitHub username. We need to give the password. For that we are going to generate the password from the GitHub for authentication. Go to your GitHub account. Go to your settings developer option in the developer settings you need to go personal access token here you need to generate a new token generate new token classic you can give any name as per your wish you can mention the expiration time i'm giving seven days check this box tick this box generate token you will get a token copy this in password paste it give some id github token add check it you have your username with password for authentication you need to specify the branch so in my case this is my branch as master leave as it is if your branch is main or development or production just change it generate pipeline script you will get a script just copy and instead of instead of this paste save now let's run our pipeline it's doing the checkout you can see it completed checkout and it copied the repository to this path now we will see how to configure the webhook for this you need to go to your github account go to setting webhook add webhook in this place you need to add the jenkins url here go to jenkins copy the url also mention github hyphen webhook slash add webhook now we have configured webhook in github once you completed the webhook configuration just check it whether the webhook is up or not you can you should see this tick mark so like this you can do configuration the webhook 
in the github also we need to configure in jenkins pipeline go to jenkins pipeline configure in this you need to enable this option github hook trigger for git sem polling save it let's modify within our repository so that we can see it trigger automatically go to your repository in this you need to go if you have any index.html file otherwise if you have any files you want to modify that particular file you need to do and do some commit so in my case i am going to just add in the indexed file some new text i am going to edit here I'm going to do some commit before that we can see there is only two builds let's commit this you can see here our job got get triggered once we we done the commit it automatically started doing the trigger like this you can configure webhook configuration if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe my channel for my more videos